Hello everyone, my name is Meghna Gupte and I'm a senior user experience designer Maya at Autodesk. So today I'll be demonstrating the three new auto tangent types, which are auto ease, auto mix and auto custom. So basically these are variations of our default auto tangent, which is now called auto span legacy. So let's take a look at these in Maya. As you see, this is an already animated uh, character out here. Now let's grab one of the controls, say the root control. And as you see here in the graph editor, uh, which is where most of the animators spend their time polishing their performance after blocking their shot. So let's select, uh, say for instance, their Y rotations. And as you see, this is a very typical um, animation curve. I have my buffer curves on. So let's see first what the uh, existing auto tangents do. Now if I select the keys here and I click on auto tangent, you can see that in relation to this buffer curve, the shape of the curve has changed drastically and there is a very harsh entry into this point out here. So what animators had to do, they used to keep inserting keys here and adjusting the, the, the neighboring keys around to get a nicer ease into this point and ease out, thus spending more time and efforts. The new auto tangents will now address these issues and will give more appealing curve shapes and also as per animator needs. So let's take a look at each one of these. So I grab these keys here and now I click on auto ease. So as you see here, in relation to this buffer curve, the shape of the curve has not changed much in relation to this. And there is a very nice ease into this point and ease out. The next mode is auto mix. When I click on that, as you can see that it has medium influence in relation to its nearest neighbor, which is this. And the curve doesn't ease into this point as much as the previous mode. Finally, it is possible to control the shape of the curve by using auto custom and changing the coefficient value. So you go to auto customs, you go to tangents, auto, and you can see that a new menu has been added here in Maya where you can see all the other auto tangents. And here is auto custom where you click on this, which opens up this box. And you can see this custom coefficient value, which ranges from minus 0.5 to one. Now a value of minus 0.5, so I'm selecting these keys here. And if I click on apply, you can see that the shape of the curve has changed. And this works pretty similar to the auto ease. Whereas a value of zero, if I click on apply, this works pretty much close to the auto mix and a value of one works similar to our default auto tangents. You can also play around with any of the values you want here, suiting your needs and to adjust the shape of the curve, uh, depending on what you all want. You can also um, access the new auto tangents by right clicking on the graph editor and you can see that these options have also been added under this menu out here. So we do hope that uh, the new auto tangents will uh, be a time saver, uh, will help give more appealing curves and lead to a more efficient workflow.